Evidence implicating President Trump is reportedly starting to pile up as special counsel Robert Mueller continues to investigate possible crimes committed during the 2016 presidential campaign. ABC Stephanie Ramos has details on how the president and his supporters continue to deny any wrongdoing and he is calling the investigation a witch hunt. The president continues to be at the center of two federal investigations. But I think it's all turning around very nicely. But the but court filings revealed the, uh, last week show the president could be at risk of serious legal and political jeopardy. There's no way to spin this. This has not been this has not been a positive development for the people that are involved in this. The president facing two possible legal hurdles. The first, the Russia investigation. Special counsel Robert Mueller outlining in court documents new allegations of early Russian efforts to build a political alliance with people connected to the 2016 Trump campaign. Then there's the money paid out during the campaign. Federal prosecutors in New York say the president's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, coordinated the payoff of two women to keep them silent about alleged affairs with Trump. The payments violated campaign finance laws and were allegedly made at the direction of Mr. Trump, according to prosecutors. It was done to impact the election, and it was done in coordination with and at the direction of Donald Trump. These prosecutors are saying this matters. This is an important crime, and they're essentially saying that Donald Trump was behind it. The incoming Democratic chair of the House Judiciary Committee is ready to investigate. They would be impeachable offenses. Uh, whether they are important enough to justify an impeachment is a different question. The president back on Twitter this morning tweeting there was no collusion between his campaign and Russians, despite the findings of federal prosecutors. The president also called the payments to those two women during the presidential election a simple transaction. In Washington, Stephanie Ramos, ABC News.